Do you struggle to make your own cornbread? Or do you struggle to just get the best out of your Jiffy cornbread mix? That was me. Until I found this recipe on YouTube by this beautiful lady. Her YouTube channel is called Cerebral. And it changed my Jiffy cornbread game. And I even took it up a notch further by adding my own twist to it. So if you would like to see my hack on how you can turn your Jiffy cornbread mix to a bomb, moist, and delicious cornbread for this Thanksgiving, then you definitely want to keep on watching. If this is your first time here, you're absolutely welcome. This is Manta Queen and you are welcome to my kitchen. And these are the ingredients you would need. I have three eggs at room temperature. And I will explain why I'm using all of these ingredients, okay? Also, we have some sugar. This is four tablespoons of sugar. Feel free to cut it down to your own liking, okay? This is my preference as well. I like my cornbread a little sweet. And this right here is what I substituted. So the recipe asks for milk, but I'm using buttermilk instead. Guys, substitute buttermilk for regular milk and your cornbread will never turn out the same way. You would love it. Yes, this is my buttermilk and I'm using a cup and one fourth of a cup of buttermilk. And this is my butter. This is one stick of butter and that's about eight tablespoons. So for the recipe, I need seven tablespoons of butter. So I'm gonna cut off the one tablespoon and save it for later. And we're gonna use it at some point in this recipe. So we need seven tablespoons of butter and I'm gonna melt it. We need melted butter. This is just a brand that I like to use. It already has salt, it's salted. So yes, this is the brand I like. And today for this recipe, we're going to be using two boxes of Jiffy cornbread mix. You guys, if you follow the recipe on this box, your cornbread is going to come out dry and sad. You do not want that. I will put a list of all the ingredients and measurements in the description box below. So another twist to this is that I'm using a cast iron skillet. You guys, this cast iron skillet coupled with the buttermilk it's gonna give you that bomb classic cornbread i oh my goodness it makes a whole lot of difference try it and thank me later <laughs> okay so over here i have my mixing bowl and i'm just gonna empty out my two boxes of jiffy cornbread mix And as you can see, it has so many lumps. So I'm just going in with my whisk to break up all the lumps because the last thing you want is eating your cornbread and finding just lumps of uncooked <laughs> cornmeal in your cornbread. So yes. And to that, I'm adding my sugar, four tablespoons of sugar. And that's it for our dry ingredients. You just want to mix it together and just set it aside and we will we'll move on with the rest of it. And now in a separate bowl, I'm going to crack up three eggs. Yes. Look at the recipe on the cornbread mix and you would see that this is a whole no different measurements everything is so different <laughs> yeah so you just want to give it a good whisk and now i'm going to add the buttermilk into the eggs yes i'm just trying to blend in all my wet ingredients and just give it a whisk because buttermilk is really thick 
so and by the way if you don't have buttermilk you can make your own buttermilk by putting some vinegar in regular milk and let it sit yes I believe you can do that so now our wet ingredients are done I'm gonna go in and just create a little well a little hole in the middle of the dry ingredients and I'm gonna pour in the buttermilk and eggs mixture I have not forgotten the butter hold on a second it's coming because remember I had to melt the butter and the best trick is just to melt it in your cast iron so what I did was I just put the, the butter on the skillet and just put it on the stove on low heat and it just melted so as you can see it's not really hot at all it's not hot it's just melted so this way you are coating your cast iron skillet at the same time and melting your butter so you don't need to coat it um, again so yes I'm just gonna pour out the butter and as you can see I left a little tiny bit and that is just a preference because that also helps with the greasing of the pan and mm -mm -mm. so yes now you just want to mix it and you really don't need a mixer you can use your hand mixer but I didn't feel like it so I'm just using my spatula to mix it all together And you just want to make sure that you're scraping the very bottom of it because you don't want any dry pockets in there so I'm making sure that I'm scraping the bottom of it and the sides as well and once I get all of that I would switch to my whisk and give it a good mix you can use your hand mixer like I said but you really don't have to this is a very simple recipe So guys, another major flaw with the Jiffy Cornbread Mix instructions is the cooking um, temperature. It says to bake it at 400 degrees. If you try that, it is going to be burnt all around and the middle part is still going to come out soggy and wet. Do not bake at 400 degrees. This is me talking from experience. <laughs> So you just want to pour all that batter make sure you get all of it in there guys this looks so good <laughs> i just love cornbread it's one of my favorite thanksgiving sides yes and you can use your cornbread to make other um thanksgiving sides as well like your dressing so yes it is very versatile i love it so what you want to do is give it a good shake and a pop and a drop <laughs> to get all the air bubbles out yes so i'm just giving it a gentle shake and there it is it is ready to go into the oven so this is a preheated oven it is nice and hot and i'm just gonna stick it in there and you want to bake at 350 degrees fahrenheit for 40 to 45 minutes i would say 40 minutes and you want to check on it i like my cornbread a little brown i like that crust so i left it for almost 45 minutes so make sure you check it and insert a toothpick in the middle and if it comes out clean then your cornbread is done and guys look at that beauty oh my god <laughs> this was one of the best cornbreads i've made hands down oh my god so I'm just trying to uh, just let it sit a little while because you don't want to cut into it when it's still hot. And guys, see that crust around the sides, the brown crust? That is everything. I'm a crust girl. Cake, everything. Give me the corner piece. I love it. <laughs> so yes, I'm going to take it up another step, guys. This is some honey. Yes, I got some organic honey. And to that... Remember that one tablespoon of butter that I cut out of the one stick of butter? Exactly. That's what I melted and I poured it into this honey and we're going to just make a buttered honey mix. 
that I'm gonna use to glaze this cornbread. You guys, I'm just being extra, but trust me, this is so tasty. Oh my God. You wanna do this when it's still hot, okay? You wanna do this when it's still hot so that all of that would seep right through the beautiful cornbread. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm just gonna use my pastry brush and just brush all over it. You can brush as much as you want. I didn't want to put too much because uh, my husband does not really like too much sweet stuff. But this is honey, so he was okay with it. Look, can you see the gloss? Can you see the shine? <laughs> you guys, this is all I had for breakfast two days in a row. Oh my God, I love it so much. When you keep it in the fridge the next day, all you need to do is pop it into the microwave for about 10 seconds, 15 seconds get you a good hot cup of coffee or cocoa or whatever you want to drink and oh boy <laughs> if you have never tried cornbread you'll want to try it give it a try you can decide to make yours from scratch or use this hack and up your game with the jiffy cornbread mix because i find it very easy but it used to stress me out so much because it always would come out so dry and i did not understand what i was doing wrong but hey now we know <laughs> so our cornbread has rested for about 20 minutes so now we're gonna cut into it and do a taste test my favorite part of this video <laughs> as you can see I am cutting right through with so much ease that is how moist and soft this was it almost tastes like a cake it is so good but it still has that gritty texture from the cornmeal delicious look at that you guys this is perfection <laughs> oh I love it so much look at that it came right out I had no issues with it it was perfectly cooked the middle part everything was perfectly cooked and you can still see the steam coming out of it oh my god like I said if you have never tried this recipe or you simply just struggle with your Jiffy cornbread mix use this hack all the ingredients are gonna be in the description box below if you are interested so yes, look at the top. Duck crust is everything. That's where all the flavors at. I love me some good crust. Any baked goods, give me the sides. That's all I want. Corner pieces, sides, give it to me. Can you see that bounce on the cornbread? Can your cornbread bounce like this? <laughs> Absolutely delicious. So now I'm just gonna do my tasters. I'm sorry guys, you can just get to watch. It's okay, or better still, you can make your own cornbread. As you can see, the fork just slides right through and everything was good, everything was delicious. It came out just the way I wanted it. Like I said, this is one of our favorite Thanksgiving staples. It is very popular here in the United States. If you're not in the US, you can just give it a try and see if you would like it, okay? I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Again, this is Mansa Queen. If this is your first time here, guys, you are absolutely welcome. Feel free to look around. I'm sure you'll find a thing or two that you might like. And then you can go ahead and subscribe. To my returning subscribers, I love you all so much. And have yourself a happy and blessed Thanksgiving. I love you all and please stay safe. Bye.